back to officially coco y'all probably saw the video before this um i got the same outfit i want to tell y'all a little story well it's not a story but a short little story so uh, you know how you go get your hair braided and i told them clearly what i wanted um this is how i know i change who i am um or trying to change so i got my hair done thursday i saw this style fabulous I took my husband, I, 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 I value, you know, you, you want to ask your man what you like and what you, you like this hairstyle, even though that's not the, the pretty, you know, knowing what to say and what style to get, but you want to ask your man, you like this style for me? He said, yeah. Went there, got the hairstyle done in two hours. I get home, I realized this hair the way what it is. I'm kind of upset because I spent the 160 on it and I know for sure that that style wasn't 160. If I remember, I will insert it. But what I did not do is take a picture of my hair, how it looked at that time, because it looked that after and I didn't, um, I didn't take a picture. But needless to say, that wasn't the style that I, it was supposed to be. It wasn't thick. It was than it's ever and I will I really would appreciate if people would say well that's not going to fit you and it's not going to work because of your hair texture so I went back for uh Friday and I'm like you got to take this out I'm not going to be able to do it well actually I called her let me rewind back I called her and she's like well you picked that style I'm like I don't get what I picked I don't like this I called her in the morning she told me to come in I went in and they took it out. So I got the picture that what I wanted and I probably will reinsert it. So I told her what I wanted. She couldn't do it cause she been sick. So not like, you know, the other thing, but she just been sick. I don't know what she sick from, but she been sick and she can't braid like she used to. And she normally used to do my hair and I didn't know she was back. So again, fast forward. So the young lady do my hair. I looked at it. So I do know when I took my old braids, I think y'all remember I told y'all I had them braids in seven months. And my hair around here is not as thick as it normally be because of that. And then I've been wearing a wrap, so I really haven't been like nurturing my hair like I should, what I normally do. So anywho, she do the style. I get home. I'm like, oh, okay, let me, Damn it, I gotta rewind again. So she was like, well, I'll give you half off whatever you want. Now you see these braids I have. You know they damn well ain't worth a hundred. This is not a hundred dollars. I think she was trying to milk me. So I already paid 116. Here we go paying 50. So that's 210. Because I took the 160 hairdo out. So this is to satisfy me, because I gotta get ready for my trip. I got this. I like this. Give me eight. Now you get eight. Eight of these are is eighty dollars okay then she said because i got it extra thick i did get it a little size up but she said because i asked for a thick that made it ten dollars more <laughs> um so I, I got it i'm gonna show like i said i'm gonna show y'all what she's supposed to do versus what i got okay so i got these okay but when she did it the first time she took it up here because my hair is not as thick as it normally be it looked awkward. It looked like she did like a little braid that was just sticking in. And if I was to scratch my scalp up, you know how sometimes your hair not thick and then they make a, like she looked like she was trying to make a braid. And then it was coming all the way down. And then it was like, she started it then and then whatever. I think these are feeder braids, but regardless how she did it, it looked tacky and I was not going to come on trip. So I called her again the next day. Actually, I called her. The, yeah, the next day. And then she was like, well, the girl already left. So can you come the next day? Went there. And at this point, I don't give a damn what they was going to say, what they were 
like how they felt about it. Cause I was like really at that point, I was ready to throw down cause I think I didn't had it up to here. And then when I got in there y'all, she told me come nine o'clock. And I told my husband, it'd be best if you come cause I don't know what might happen. So she came, I mean, I get there and then here go, here go. This woman come out of her mouth and say, oh, we're packed. And they were doing a lot, like they had two girls on one hit. But I wanted to talk to the owner who I know. I don't want to say the name, but anyway. She like, oh, we pack. I, I, I don't have, I don't have, I don't really have time to. Do. I'm like, girl, you gonna fix this <laughs> today? I leave today. We mean it was Sunday. I went Thursday to get my hair done. Friday, I went to take it out and they redo it. And I got this. Saturday, I try to see if if I could just make myself love this hair do. I couldn't. Sunday, I was like, you gonna fit? I called her Saturday. She told me come Sunday, which is I had to be on my plane. My plane took off at four. And I got there at 9. And she going to say the girl wasn't there yet. I was going to wait. Then she tried to push me off. Say, ain't nothing wrong with your hair. I'm like, yes, it is. Take it out. I don't care how far you got to start. And it was this one. And she had it all right here. You see my hair not that thick right there. Take it out and fix it. So she fixed it. And I left. Again, I'm not happy with it. But I'll, I feel like I settled for... <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't pay $210 for something that I'm not happy with. I'm very upset with myself. Um, that's how I know I change. Because I could have effed that place up and her up. Um, and the fact that I had to get two girls the first time I got a young girl. And I asked her, do you know how to do this? And I, I hate that I settled. But I learned, it was a lesson for me to learn that I ain't going in no damn one. Yeah. If I got to go Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday, I'm done. I don't want it no more. I'm done. Um, yeah, but that was a short story about my hair experience. I will have to say this was the worst experience I ever endured. I would have to say that. The worst. And sometimes you have to go with your gut feeling. I was trying to get something that my husband would love to see me in when I should have damn sure got what I wanted. And if I remember, I'm going to insert three of them that I should have got. But what I'm learning, when you show them something that you want and they know they can't do it, they will try and they know it won't work. So that's why I messed up at. I should have said, can you do my hand cornrow, feeder, or however that other style is and then they just do it because they will not tell you if your hair fit for it they look have you out here looking crazy so that was my short little story i mean even though it was over five minutes but that was my experience and this is what i got am i happy no i'm settling and i hope it lasts until i leave here so yeah so this is it I don't want to say the name of the um, place because they still do good hair. It's just that my experience was a bad experience. So I know who to go to now, moving forward. But I want to thank y'all as always for watching Officially Coco. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.